Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about originality reports in Google Classroom. This is a feature that's been added to Google Classroom that will allow you to detect any sort of plagiarism for assignments that you enable this feature on. So right now I'm inside Google Classroom. I've set up an assignment and you'll notice over here in the right hand column, I have a little checkbox here that allows me to check for plagiarism. This is the originality report feature. So I'm going to enable that for this assignment. And that means students will be able to check their work on this assignment and run an originality report to uh, detect any plagiarism before they turn it in. This is a great way for them to make sure that they're paraphrasing um, sufficiently and that they're citing um, any quoted resources in their paper. And it'll also allow me as a teacher to run a report once they submit their work to me um, and ensure that everything they have turned in is actually original work. If you want to learn more about original, originality reports, when you're in classroom, you've got this little link here to learn more, and you can click that to learn all the ins and outs. So that's it. That's all you have to do to set it up is make sure that you check this for any assignment that you want to enable it on, and then you can assign it as per usual. Now, let me show you what this will look like on the student's end. Once we have turned that on, I'm now logged in as a student. I've completed my work, and you'll notice they have an additional section over here that says originality reports, and they can click to run one for themselves before they turn it in. There's also this little learn more link over here. So if a student wants to learn what this means and how it works, they can click that to find additional information. So as a student, if I want to run an originality report, I just click this little run option here. It walks me through what my options are. And you'll notice that there is a maximum of three originality reports or three times that I can run this uh, for this particular assignment. So I can run it once, um, detect any plagiarism, revise my paper. I can run it again until I'm satisfied um, with my work as a student. So I'm going to go ahead and click run on this right now and it will run it and you'll notice up here it's running the originality report and then once it's done I'll be able to click and view it as a student and make sure that everything that I'm doing represents original work in here. So that's what it looks like on the student's end and then once I'm done with everything I can go ahead and click turn in and it will turn it into my teacher. Now, perhaps most interesting is the teacher view over here. So let me show you now what this looks like as a teacher. I'm over here in my Google Classroom, and I have an assignment right here called Unit of Study Reflection. This is the one where I enabled originality report. So I'm going to click it just like I normally would for any assignment. I will see all of my student work over here. And if I go to check Olivia's work and click on this right now, it will load the, um, the grading interface or the feedback interface just as it always does. And you will notice once this loads that there's an additional thing over here on Olivia's work, it flagged two passages. And so it's automatically running this in the background since I enabled um, originality reports in here. So if I click this little link, two flagged passages, it will pull up the originality report for Olivia's work. So here's her work, here's what she submitted, and you'll notice it's highlighted right here, two areas where it has concerns. So I click on this first portion, it shows me what the student's passage looks like, and it found a top web match on the internet that is a word for word copy of all this. And then it even gives me the source of where that came from. So I can see right here that Olivia just copied and pasted that information straight from the Britannica website. And then I can have a follow up conversation with Olivia. You'll notice we've got the same thing over here. If I click this section, it now switches over to this section and it will show me that that is another uh, detected instance of plagiarism. So a great tool to be able to uh, search that out. Google basically crawls the internet and figures out if there's any work that Olivia submitted that matches something it found on the internet uh, and has not been cited, then it will flag it for us. So there's one example of what it looks like. Let's take a look at a couple of the other ones that have been turned in. Um, on Nicole's, you'll notice over here, it says no flagged passages. And though she did pull some of this information from another source, she paraphrased the information and put it in her own words. And so it did not flag that as any direct plagiarism. If I tab over here to another student, you'll see that we have one flagged passage here um, that we can note and we can drill down into and see what that is. And uh, this is the next one that I wanna show you over here on the test teacher's work. Um, there is no flagged passages here. I'm gonna go ahead and click this though, because this is the student one that we were looking at a second ago. And you'll notice nothing has been flagged here, but it did count that there was one cited or quoted passage. So if I enable this, it'll show you exactly which passage was cited from somewhere else. And you'll notice there is the citation in there included. So if a student has properly cited the work from another source, 
uh, originality report is savvy enough to be able to say, hey, this was properly cited, and so it won't flag that. So you may want to give this a shot on your next um, research paper or essay project in your class, something where students may uh, be culling information from different online sources to make sure that all the work that they're doing is original. One uh, real, real quick point of clarification is that in the free version of Google Classroom, each classroom can run originality reports on up to five assignments. Um, to use it on more than five assignments, you need an upgraded version of Google Classroom. Um, currently, we do have upgraded versions of Google Classroom in Redlands Unified. This is part of our upgrade for Google Meets and report, uh, recording capability during the pandemic. So you actually this year have unlimited originality reports, but uh, that may not be the case forever. So definitely worth giving a shot this year, trying on some of your more important assignments. And then if it ever reverts back to the uh, cap of five, you can just do that on the five most important assignments in your year. So give it a shot next time you run an assignment like this and see if that helps to curb some of the plagiarism uh, or academic dishonesty in your class.